Ignorance and error management. Whenever we fly, there's going to be certain threats that we can sometimes identify prior to flying. One big one is weather, something that's maybe anticipated. Now, we could look at it ahead of time and say, well, we're expecting the weather to be this way, but then a threat can also become unanticipated. For instance, weather that's not in the forecast. Or perhaps maybe we have some sort of a mechanical failure. We also have errors. And yes, as humans, we're going to make mistakes. So threat and error management is a system that recognizes that we're going to have threats always when we fly. And yes, there's going to be times when we make errors. However, there are ways that we can reduce the both of these, the two of these, if you want to be more grammatically correct, right? So, as I've mentioned, threat and error management is a general safety concept regarding all aviation operations. The three basic components to threat and error management are, well, the threats, the errors, and then finally, we have something known as undesired aircraft states. Now, this last component is typically going to be the result of these two. Maybe it could be the result of one or the other. However, when we come to an undesired aircraft state, we're thinking of something that's outside of the parameters that we want as a pilot. So that might be, for instance, on an approach where we have a higher than normal descent rate, or maybe an airspeed that isn't correct. Any one of those could be an undesired aircraft state. It doesn't necessarily need to be <laughs> inverted. So going through this section, we're going to learn about how we can identify threats, how we can identify errors, and we're going to go over some of the methods and strategies that we can use to reduce those. Now, some of those strategies may well be built into things like checklists or standard operating procedures. However, there's times when we have something anticipated, and in that case, well, we're going to have to design them through our own system of risk management.